Hello everybody, I am Alpha Bird. We're playing another game of Regiments today. Uh, like I said in the previous video, Regiments a new real-time tactics game set in Germany 1989 with a Cold War gone hot scenario. That is the dog in the background, if you can hear him. He is really excited to see some more footage of the game. Today, we're going to be playing a different game mode. We're playing the meeting engagement kind of like a conquest game mode and it's uh me versus the ai we're playing nato this time the 11th armored cavalry uh, there's some details of what we've got access to a couple of m3s some ma uh, m1a1s some m2a2s as a hq we've got a vulcan and an m109a3 as the artillery we're up against the panzer regiment for They've got access to some BRDM2s, some T72s, T55s, BMPs with riflemen, a Godzilla over there on the artillery front, a Strela 10, and a BMP1PK and an MI8TV. So automatically get helicopters in the uh, division from the start. That's going to be the game. Let's get going right so here's our supply zone i'm imagining the oh no we've got two lot i'm imagining the enemies opposite me and um, we are on a different map we should be on a different map unless it reset it when i was changing the game modes but this one looks a little bit familiar so i'm not sure whether we are on a different map or not i can't tell um wow there's quite a lot of areas here we got gamma beta Eta, Alpha, Zeta, <laughs> we got loads of Greek words. And they're all off to the right. So all the capture zones are off to the right, which is a little bit strange. That we start off, and there's just like a load of dead ground on the left. I suppose if this does become multiplayer, you could flank around and attack your enemy's spawn in some ways. Maybe we should like leave a unit. A reconnaissance patrol let's um bring in a reconnaissance patrol can you set orders from the start that's a question i don't think you can oh you can lot yeah you can set orders from the start okay so they've got that going for me and then i'll use the rest of my units in here i think i will bring in a mm -hmm. don't get a lot of starting points so we'll bring in some more reconnaissance we ought to push for Delta, Gamma, and Beta immediately. Let's try and bring our reconnaissance right round here. I'll give him a fast move, but like I said, I don't really think it makes too much of a difference. Uh, my tanks are really expensive. I got some Bradleys. Oh god, I've got like no infantry. I guess we're going to have to get tanks. So we'll send the tanks up. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Send the tanks up there. Um, can we if we can't afford two sets of tanks um, i guess we'll bring in the hq section i'm going to leave myself without um air cover but let's go you can actually pause the game as well lot and you can speed it up and slow it down but i you know playing steel division 2 i'm used to just playing at one speed Full, at full speed. Uh, let's just get that recon all the way over there. Just cover our flank. Probably not the best because they could still sneak through here. I mean, I wonder whether we can just put it on the edge of this city. Let's put him there. Or should we, like... Let's put him, put him there. Right, let's go capture Delta. I don't know whether they actually move faster. Let's see. No, there's there's no difference. As far as I can see, there's no difference between fast move and attack move. Except attack move will stop when they get attacked. Um, that's the only difference as far as I can say. It looks like we do have an A-10 Warthog with one guided precision guided munition available to us. Those tactical points tick up. As we're going. And we can get a Vulcan out. So maybe we should bring out a Vulcan. And then I want to save up for uh, another set of 
M1 Abrams tanks. Let's go in on these. There isn't a... F ah, there is a follow command. Okay, so you just zoom on your units to follow. I wonder whether it's specific to... Okay, so it's not specific to, like, a certain unit. I do kind of like it. I think the graphics are a little bit minimal, but at the same time, you know, that's not too much of a problem. I think overall, my impression of the game so far is that it's it's simple, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I have enjoyed what I've played so far. I'm not 100%. I'm... For some reason, I'm not 100% sure whether it's a multiplayer game or a single player only. I'll try and get that information and put it in the pre in the blurb or in the description. But Zone capture. I really like the task force aspect, and I guess you can bring in a different task force each each time, which sort of makes the game a little bit different. I don't know whether what the command will uh, command what the um campaign will be or whether there is a campaign you know whether there's going to be one whether it's going to be skirmish um i i'm not really that clued up at the moment so forgive me but so far i've enjoyed it i have enjoyed my experience so far and i think it's just it is a bit you know it's nice it's nice to be simple it's kind of nice you know still division two is I've been complaining lately. It is hard. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Whereas in this... I feel like there is that... Um, aspect to be... A bit more casual. Which I'm not sure is a bad thing. Okay, looks like we got T-55s. My M1s... I would like a bit more information. Oh, here we go. I'm saying I'd like more information. Uh, and the information is there for me. So it looks like that's 100% penetration, I'm imagining. So it's armor at AP 20 minus armor 11 is 100%. So that sounds like we can fully penetrate. <laughs> we love a bit of... Oh, look, Fury. Sundance. These names mean stuff to me. I love it. Um... I want some infantry because we don't actually have any infantry. So we should be looking at infantry. Steak. We've got riflemen. Voodoo lot is a recon task force. It, it's got quite a few different things in it. That's kind of cool. Most of the Russian ones only had like three units in. So it is kind of cool to see a, a bit more. Maybe it's just the recon ones that have four. No, Joker. Uh, that's got... Actually, let's pick Joker because it's got a couple of mortars. It's got a Humvee for recon. And it's got some um, infantry there as well. Or they are fire support. It says right down in the bottom right. But I can't move my mouse because otherwise you'll miss it. We've got four riflemen with laws. we got four automatic grenade launchers. We've got four machine gunners and 12 standard riflemen. Um, so let's pick Joker. Let's call you in. Uh, first of all, let's get out the infantry. Uh, let's get out the Humvee to the right. And I want my other tank out as well. And then we can concentrate on the artillery. We've got quite a lot of artillery, but you know, we are the Americans this time. <laughs> you know the Americans love their artillery. Um, looks like we captured Delta, Gamma, Beta. We're doing pretty good right now. They've captured Alpha and Zeta. T-72 is a little bit harder. Um, let's just make sure, okay, let's just drop back a bit, make sure we're not under fire, don't want to reverse that way, we got an A-10 with a guided weapon, let's get the A-1s up there, bring the Bradleys over, Humvee's fine, we do have a guided weapon, so for now we are a little bit pinned back, ooh, we can't engage, here you go. Here's the retreat function. They pop smoke automatically. And then they retreat back. And I think they retreat back here. I don't think you get a choice about that. Um, but it is kind of nice that you don't... You can just retreat them. And they'll go. And 
like I said, like I said, it's a little bit more simple gameplay, but that's to me at the moment. It seems like it could be a good thing. Why have I lost all? Whoa, whoa! They've all switched. Okay, that's interesting. So they've switched. So new objective in five minutes. So the objective switch. Well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? So your battle doesn't kind of get fixed in one location. You have to move things. So you can't just set up a defense and stay there. That's really cool. I'm, I'm liking that. Okay, you guys stop what you're doing. Capture Gamma. Uh, Vulcan go up there. We've still got the A-10. And we've got 155 points. I'd like to bring in some waters. And you kind of click the unit, select where it wants to go, and it will come there. Ooh, okay, Vulcan, you go forward. Bring back the M1A1. Let's bring you back. Yeah, we'll get the Vulcan up. Ooh, but they're getting hit now. Oh, I think actually they're getting hit by the aircraft. Ooh, feels like an ambush here. It looks like we took down the aircraft. We'll push forward the tanks again. Don't know what they are. They are tanks. So we can't really... Oh, no, we do have M1A1s here. Bradley's can stay back. Humvees and M3s guard in the rear. And our artillery. Oh, we do have the A10 guided bomb. So, wow. A bit bigger than a guided bomb. A big area for a guided bomb. Oh, we just destroyed them as well. Oh, there is something else in the area that maybe that will help us against. Oh, they're suppressed, though. Oh, we lost our A-10. Okay, looks like if you lose your aircraft, it's uh, kind of like a cooldown function. Oh, we got flanked in the town. I don't want to order my Vulcans nearby. Okay, let's just move the HQ because... Uh, we need that HQ bonus. 170 points. Hmm... Do I go for artillery? New task force available. That's exactly what I wanted. I was fancying a new task force. So I kind of want some infantry, but I also want some tanks. I'm feeling like my tanks aren't quite enough. So I'm looking at 363. I'm thinking that might be nice. Um. Oh, look. M1A1HA. I guess that's probably going to be one of the most powerful in the game because you only get two units in this squad. Yeah, expensive but powerful group. It would be nice to get some more anti-air as well. So I'm looking for the engineers, I think. Anti-tank units. I mean, we could get the... I don't think I need another HQ to get the Vulcan. So, I'm thinking we go for 363. Let's pick 363. A task force formed by mechanized infantry, versatile, excellent in defense, close quarters combat, can be suboptimal in open fields. We get more A-10. Looks like it's a gun run with the A-10. Okay, let's get some infantry out on the ground. First of all. Uh, we'll just retreat our tanks. I'm actually... It's really tight between me and the AI right now. Uh, they've captured quite a lot this round, so we need to push forwards. Orca needs to come up. Uh, so, yeah, it is it is quite tight now, but I feel like I've got a decent task force on the way. Maybe investing in those recon units w wasn't as uh, effective as it, of it, as it should could have been. Maybe I made that mistake, if I can actually speak. Uh, let's just try and capture units. My HQ's on the front line, which is probably not the best right now, but I really want to capture forces oh you can see where the enemy is capturing so i guess we do know there are units in epsilon um already engaging those units infantry let's go for a gun run 
And here we go. The mortars automatically fire in a lot. That's really good for a new, you know, more casual players. No micro on your mortars. Uh, we got the gun run coming in somewhere. Here it is. Oh, they all died again. Oh, but we did get the kill there. It looks like you've got um, anti-air back there. So you can do some kind of counter battery. I think we hit one of them mortars as well. Uh, M2A1. In fact, let's just pop smoke and retreat. M1A1s. Push forwards. Um, Going to need to engage in close quarters here. My mortars should help me out a lot. I've got 140 points. Let's get some more mortars in. I think they're going to help me out. Oh, my M1A1 as well. Let's pop smoke and retreat you. A lot of my tanks are heavily damaged here. Okay, let's unbutton the M2s and get the riflemen out. Let's just bring the Vulcan back. Get some guided bombs. Actually, that could be really good for us. Uh, we got an M3 all the way back here. Don't know how long that's been there. <laughs> Let's get it out into the action. Oh, that was one that we pop smoke and retreated, didn't we? So that is one thing you've got to remember to... Let's retreat those as well. Oh, the units have moved again. But this time they've moved left. Actually, we've got a cheeky M3 over here. So let's capture some points. <laughs> let's capture some points. And um, where's my other M3? Let's fast move over, even though I don't really think it makes too much of a difference. And capture some more points. We'll move the mortar left a bit. Ooh, close range. The Vulcan should take care of those on the right. Move the mortars back again. Okay, I'm just relying on my rifleman now to take down these T-55s. we got a 90% chance to penetrate. There is like a range um, line of sight tool, but it's more, it feels more like a range tool. Although, actually, when you hover over the forest, I think it does affect things. But there, I don't think there's like elevation difference. I think the cities obviously affect things as well. Okay, 226 points. Let's get tanks. Oh, and they're coming from the other side, look. Okay, so that's why we've got two spawn units as well. Uh, the rifleman died. We did capture Delta. Let's push forwards into Epsilon. Keep up the pressure because I'm actually losing here. New task force available. Got a new task force. I really need some stuff on the ground. Cheap tanks I could do with. And uh, maybe the M60083s. One of the, my complaints is I don't think it tells me how much the cost is going to be for each of the units. So it doesn't really tell me that. They also come with anti-air infantry. So let's get the M60s. Because uh, we probably could do with some more anti-air infantry as well. So Ravager, a task force mostly combined of main battle tanks, provided an expensive but powerful group. Um, so the M1A1s we need to get out. The M2A2s we need to get out. And we've got 71 points. Here we go. The M60s are a bit cheaper. Let's get the assault engineers out on the left. Yeah, because the, the Vulcan's in a tough spot here. In fact, my front line is pretty poor right now. I'm, I'm hopeful. Get the M3 out of there. Really not doing well now. We've got a lot of support equipment, but my other stuff... It looks like they do heal quite quickly in the base, though, so... Maybe it's best to, like, move to the flags and then fight on the flags. Rather than have it on, like, attack move. That guy just needs to retreat. Uh, the mortars move over. We've got, like, frontline units back in the fight now. We've got 6 minutes 46, new movement in 143. I think they're going to move further right again. 
but that would be a guess. I have no idea. We've got quite a lot of strikes available to us. Uh, so let's immediately call in guided weapon strike. They are T-72, so I think they're one of the most powerful tanks they can get. Zone captured. Uh, we captured Gamma, I think. Let's push the M1A1s up. I think, yeah, they're still there, but they are suppressed. Let's keep them out of the fight. Get the uh, assault engineers out and push them forward into Gamma. Keep things moving forwards. Keeps countering me. Uh, we got 200 points here. Going to get out some M60s. In fact, we'll get out two squads of those M60s. We've nearly got everything out now. We still have more stuff available. There's quite a lot there. Uh, where are my assault engineers? You guys need to get forwards. Vulcan, you need to get forwards. M1A1s as well. Let's back you off a little bit. The artillery strikes pretty small. I think they're better against kind of emplaced stuff. Whereas the A10's a bit bigger, so I can and it's a quick call in, so I know that those BTRs are gonna be in there. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes remaining. Gonna have to start pushing into some close quarters combat here. Not something I'd actually like to do, but zone captured. It is what it is. Let's push the M3 forward on the left. M1A1s going to Delta. push you there we got 106 points what can we get out let's get out some riflemen where's my vulcan come across okay this is where we could do with an artillery strike i think uh, hopefully they stay in that area And we'll use the eight hand guns on. Ah, oh, they just retreat him. Bad call. Keep things moving. Let's just pop smoke on the M3. Get those riflemen up. And I'm going to have the M60s over there. And they're going to come in, the riflemen, Vulcans in the area, M3s hitting them with ATGMs. I need to capture Delta. I'm really far behind. So I'm not doing very good at capturing areas, am I? I don't know whether I have to sit troops on things on areas, on flags. Zone capture. I think I need my supporting weaponry to help capture stuff. Uh, Rifleman, you need to get up ASAP. I've got 136 points. Got to keep my purchases up. Zone captured. A10 gun run. Get you in. Okay, we've got some good captures here now. Doesn't look like the zone's going to move again, so this might be the end of the game. A lot of my stuff are pretty heavily wounded right now. Um, can we bring anything else in? We've almost got everything that we 
have access to. Yeah, I'm going to get the troops out and then I'm going to push them through. Push the M60s up the right and try and hit some of the artillery that's supporting. We're almost on their back lines now. Oh, they do have some T-72s that are going to be hard to get through because all of my tanks are a bit low on health. These guys need to push forwards. I think we're just going to go for it. I'm also going to use the guided bombs. Yeah, it looks like we've got some good hits there. One minute remaining. Oh, they've got more T-72s in the back. I thought I had et Eta captured. Maybe I'm not fully capturing before I'm moving. And maybe that's part of the problem for me. Uh, we can finally get the artillery on, but I don't think we need this. Get the M3 up because we kind of forgot about that. So that's something that if you are retreating, you need to remember your units. It looks like the riflemen also have like anti-air that they can fire off. Looks like I have a good tick here though. Five versus two. So we might be able to still win this. Objective failed. Oh, just as I said that. We didn't win. We didn't win. So red won it with a minor victory. We got 641 points. They got 850. But right at the end, we were starting to pull it back. Um, we destroyed 91 units though and lost 28. So clearly we were killing all their stuff. We just weren't capturing the flags. And that was part of the problem. And I, I think maybe it was because I wasn't quite used to the game as well. Um, so I didn't have units sat on those flags or... I thought they would cap were captured and they weren't, so I think that that played into it as well. I'm not really going to go through the kill list. It's just a bit. I think once you're probably once you're a bit used to it, then it will be easy to read through. But it just feels a bit weird, <laughs> probably because I'm constantly playing Steel Division Two, um. So I I don't I don't know. But yeah, we had a two point one three uh kill death value ratio i re i would like to say with that meet and engagement and the conquest game mode it was really cool how the objectives moved throughout the game now it looks like there's three set areas so maybe once you played the game mode quite often it's quite obvious that they're about to shift to the center position and it tells you when they're going to move as well so it isn't quite you have to react immediately I think when you play a few games, you'll work out the pattern and you'll be able to anticipate when it's going to move and start ordering your units to the new spot to have them there immediately ready and to capture flags. But that was really interesting and that could be something that Steel Division really does lack and would could make a, a massive difference to compare when you compare to Steel Division because the Steel Division, they're all fixed so you're getting the same every single time, whereas on this, you go into a map and they move, so the engagements are different. That's a really cool aspect. Now you can fold that down and look around the map at the finish. Let's have a look at some of the units while I've got the opportunity. The model on the units are pretty cool, though I can't get them into picture very well. Um... The terrains, there is a bit of destruction here, but I don't think it's um, significant. Yeah, it looks like we got a, a plane down, or a, a plane, a helicopter down. Um, there's some destruction here. Looks like some of it might be work in progress. Remember, this is a demo, so this is, you know, not the finished product. 